Hello, everybody. Welcome back to African Power, the E4 Let's Play. Playing as the Congo, trying to conquer all of Africa. It's going pretty well so far. It's had some hiccups, had some setbacks, but it's going well. Looks like it's been a couple days since I've played. It looks like we were maybe about to go to war with Mombasa. Seems like a good thing. We've caught up in institutions with uh, 28 years to go, so we can try to keep tacking up. It's going to be a very big priority for us. We have too many diplomatic relations. Interesting. Zazao. Zazao. Oh, we were trying to... Ah, I get it. We were trying to uh, vassalize you, but you're at war. You're at war, and you might be getting conquered. <laughs> oh, whoops. Just at war with Jolof and Jenne. Not many cores. Is it even worth it? Ashanti, Makua, Kong, Ashanti, Kong. What do I have with you? Military access. Oh, we could vassalize them. They have a couple cores. I think it's not worth it. I think we break this. I didn't realize we had the military access. So, let's see it's that. Last episode, we got our explorers going into the South Atlantic. Hopefully, we can start getting down to the, the Cape of Good Hope down here. Maybe colonize it. That would be nice to shut off the Europeans' easiest expansion routes into the east. Never mind. France is already here. That means they probably already have colonies down here. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe we can conquer it from them. We'll see. The earlier we could do that, the better. Although, beating France... That's a whole different story. We've got some favors with Denmark. I feel like an Austrian ally would be our best bet. I'd really like to ally them, although they are getting uh, sort of wrecked by the Ottomans right now. But, you know, that's how the Ottomans, that's how the Ottomans do. Till late game. Zazao. Call. Yeah, we'll see what happens to Zazo. Okay, troops are in position up here. Let's declare war. Go to war with them in Warsangali. They have basically no troops. Seems good. Cancel autonomous rebel suppression. Catch one army there. Down here, catch an army here. Oyo and kill one separatist. Kill one separatist. That's annoying. Zanzibar. Zanzibar, you have some autonomy. I don't want you rising up. Diplomats are still working. My God. 23 ships. That is so annoying. Sakalava. Building the spy network here, I guess. Get this, try to catch this army. Got a conversion. We are still converting everything. <laughs> the lakes are almost done. That's good. Then we're getting into Sunni land, which is going to be very hard to convert. Oh, so prickly to convert. There we go. Blowing up the Mombasans. It's so funny. I, Mombasa starts as a pretty tiny nation, I think. They've conquered a lot. They have conquered a lot. And their fort is holding out. 71% chance right there. Okay. Going to the Terra Incognita. We're watching over here. I don't think I have the truce. There we go. Truces. Got truces. Yeah, we have truces with them. Oh, Zazal's war is over. Okay, so we can vassalize them. Send a gift. Money. Oh, we have loans. 
Did we take out loans to embrace an institution? We may have. Can't remember. Royal marriage with Denmark. Let's keep that. Ooh, a 50 army tradition general. He's a 2331. Not bad. Not, not terrible. We have too many generals, though. Who do we want to get rid of? Probably you. There we go. Ikunga. Natives on the Gold Coast. Oh, yeah, just natives, not rebels. We're good. And with that, ooh, urbanization. Get a bunch of base tax for some money? Why not? We'll do it. Oyo Separatists, going to be automatically dealt with. And the war with Mombasa is basically over. This is the entire, this is the extent of their land. And Warsongali only has this one province. So, we're going to see how much we can take in a peace deal. Our exploration is complete. Look at this. Oh, we know so much about the South Coast. And, uh, dirty green. I see a dirty green down here in the Cape. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Hmm. We keep exploring South Atlantic coast. We already got our religious wars. Ship trade power, maybe? Let's do ship trade power. There we go. So, how much are we going to be able to take? Everything? Everything! Yes. 308 admin, though. It's a lot. But we'll conquer everything. Core it all. Rival Spain. They already rival us. Sure. Let's rival Spain. Let's rival France as well. This is a conceded effort. Oh, no. Oh, Denmark is allied with Spain. That's bad. I hope they don't break our alliance. This is a concerted effort to try to get Austria as an ally. Our distance between borders is killing us here. Let's leave this army up here. The Portuguese Cape of Good Hope. Allied with France. We should watch this. If France ever gets into a war that they can't... Uh, a war that gets them so overextended that they can't call Portugal we should try to get these provinces from Portugal that would be very nice comet sided loses stability unfortunate coma We're paying for a lot a lot of money explore Atlantic South America yeah if we could colonize over here, I feel like we'd do it. Our colonial range isn't far enough, though. Ah, oh, the Europeans have gotten all the... These little islands out here. Just... Yes. St. Helene? St. Helene? That would have been nice for us to have. Death of a Merchant. Skill 3 Natural Scientist at half off. Of the Jewish faith. Oh, really? Yeah, because Global Tariffs guy is useless for us. Why don't we switch him out? Oh. Oh, I guess it's an admin dude. Well, maybe we don't have the money. <laughs> Let's get a trade efficiency guy, and then we'll grab that guy. We're bleeding money right now. It's part of the plan. A lot of it's rooting out corruption. All of it's basically rooting out corruption. There we go. Do that. Move you down here. Oh, we need to finish exploring this so we can connect our, our East and Western Empire. Our kingdom. We're technically not an empire yet. We're working on that, though. We're working on that. Oh, we need to keep uh, we need to keep doing stuff for you. I'm slipping. My micro is slipping.
Transfer trade power. Yep, that's another plus 10. Influence, 1129. Just need three improved relations. There we go. That'll get us up there. We'll do the longer conversions, but they cost less money. Explore. Let's see. Let's do Western Indian Ocean Sea, because hopefully it'll go down here and then go through here. That would be nice. Yes. Learn more about Sakalava while we're while we're over there. Kelaman. Quellaman. Zazao. Need to We need to tech up an admin. I hate spending admin points, but I'd love to state more stuff. I think we need more money. How much are we making from gold? We're making 6.94 from gold. That's not bad at all. Hmm. <laughs> Azuran. Azuran, you have some cores. It's mostly down here. Yeah, you're not going to be the best vassal. Who are you allied with? Funj and Adal. As we've Noted in the past, Funj and Adal, not scary. Yemen is is very scary, though. Dang, they have gotten huge. They've conquered a ton of stuff. Probably should just conquer Ajuran. Ajurani Separatists. Avoiding a strong enemy. Come on. Stop them. Oh, yes. They didn't get the... They didn't get to siege it down. It's a hard fight, though. Dang. Probably because Azeron is on tech with us. I could be wrong, but I think rebels... Separatist rebels take their tech from the thing they're trying to secede to? Maybe? <laughs> I'm not sure exactly. What do we want to keep exploring? Do we want to go east or west? Let's go west. Let's go west. I don't know if, if focusing on South America is going to be useful or not. Maybe we should go east and try to get trade to push into Africa. Nice. Our king is righteous. He's a sinner, though. A righteous sinner. He sins righteously. <laughs> I sin for my country. The 23 ships in Sakalava. Let's check. Ledger. Military. Navies. Sakalava. Three heavies, 10 light ships, 10 transports. Okay. We have two heavies. 12 transports 15 light ships and then we have three more light ships uh, exploring uh, what's their tech their diplo tech is worse than ours actually do we need to upgrade our ships yeah they do need to be upgraded why do our missions keep canceling should read that pop up it's saying it's saying the missions are canceling i'm not exactly sure why there should be a stable government but i'll ignore it for now the mission is complete that's weird canceled because the mission is complete that that's a weird pop up Arabian Sea. We'll go for the Arabian. Check out over here. Funny that we know all of this, but we don't know this. <laughs> I 
Right now, we're sort of just waiting for conversions to finish. Waiting for uh, points to tech up. Teching up is like extremely essential right now. Oh, also I need to vassalize Zazel. Whoops. Y'all are probably screaming at me. I am just losing it. I'm not keeping, I'm not paying attention. My mind's somewhere else. Justify a claim there. Fabricate a claim here. Justify a claim there. Take Elbur. They only have 9k troops. If we can break their navy, then we'll beat them. Kill one. Let's go beat them up. Our cores are almost all done. Our cores are all done. Since the cores are done, that means we're going to be making way more money now, which is awesome. Which means we can probably get a better... I guess we're going back to the tariffs, dude, unfortunately. Don't make much money from tariffs. Dang, we make a lot of money from trade. Heck yeah. Where are we... Where are we making all, look at that, 15 ducats from trade. Where are we making all that money? I guess we just get money from like Zanzibar and stuff. Sakalava has so much of the Zanzibari trade. It's annoying. Okay, let's bring our navies over here. Let's do that. I wanna maybe take out a loan and upgrade our navies and get ready to go to war with Sakalava. We have our claim till 1596. The Great Comet. Ooh, we got a comet. But since we have a natural scientist, it gives us a stability instead of losing one. That's awesome. Arabian Sea. Oh, our our die our dude died. The Shona culture is an accepted culture, so we can upgrade him to level two. Perfect. Eight of Rising in the Gold Coast. We can upgrade our Miltech. Let's do it, even though we are getting so, so, so far lopsided. Go back to Hill. African Hussars. That sounds awesome. Here, so we have our Navy. Have our navy. We're gonna. How much do we need to upgrade? 307 ducats. Let's take a loan. Upgrade the upgrade the entirety of the navy. Where do we have rebels? Oh, down here. Why aren't you going to stop them? Are they waiting for their morale to get back? Oh, they stop. I stopped it. Here, stop them. There we go. Good. Gold Coast is almost done colonizing. Hobio. Look how many cores are on this one province. Ajaran, Hobio. Warsongali, Mombasa, and the Congo all have cores on Mareg. This place is hotly contested. Yeah, Diplotech cost down. That's good. You know, if we're going to declare war on them, we should probably do it now because Hobio, those Hobio separatists are going to flip it to Hobio. Early modern administration, yes. Is there a, should I get a merchant instead? Hmm. Gives us more govern, oh, it gives us more governing capacity, which yeah, which actually we need. Let's do it. Colonist is done, let's connect our land. Let's get Wida. I also think we're gonna start making these um, we're going to make these uh, trading companies. Trading companies are really, really strong. If we want as much... Um, if we want as much trade power out of this... Out of the Ivory Coast as possible, then we're going to want to make these trade companies. All this. All this trade companies. 
because now we can start building the trade company buildings which give like crazy bonuses stuff like company depot which just gives flat trade power which is really awesome and gives local production efficiency and then this one gives crazy amounts of production efficiency and goods produced uh, flat goods produced is something very very hard to come by and it'll increase the amount of trade that goes on in this in this node as a whole so once we have control of this node we really want to put as many goods produced buildings as possible to make it more uh, as rich as possible we can't make trade companies out of stuff we have stated however unfortunately so like we got this state for free. I don't I don't think it's the right idea to uncore it to make it territories. So we're going to keep this. But the rest of the stuff that wasn't stated fully, we'll turn it into trade companies easy. That'll be very nice. We repay a loan. We can't. The clergy, ignore their. Ignore their please. We don't need their please. Good. We have some papal points. For giving use three would be okay. Our inflation is going up because of our dependence on gold. Diplo rep, mercantilism. Let's forgive some usury. We also have we also have loans, so it's a good time to do that. Let's take Elbur. Kill those Hobio rebels. Those Hobios. Oh wow, they were at fifty seven percent. Or probably a little less than that, but they were pretty far through the siege. We'll just assume that siege from them and take it over. Uganda is going to be very expensive to convert, but a little under two or a little over two years, so it's not too long. Get some corruption. So our navy is all done, and our explorer is back. An explorer is just a general with worse stats, so we're going to put him as the general. We're going to declare war on Sakalava and Mahafali. These should be enough troops to do it, so let's do it. Also, we're going to walk these guys down and have them join. Let's attach the troops to the transport. There's the enemy fleet. We've got the enemy fleet pinned already, which is awesome. Gonna walk off the ship. Onto Minabe. Tension of the livestock monopoly. Good. There we go. Diplotex. Man, our Diplotex are so cheap because we are so far behind. Oof. Peace offer from Ajuran. No. Decline. They're trying to peace out. They don't wanna they don't wanna get annexed. It's going to be annoying because, oh, diplomatic faux pas. Because getting to Funge and getting to Adal is going to be really annoying. And if they don't peace out, this war is going to take forever. Munene. I just don't want to deal with the rebels. We'll just give some land up. That is just me being lazy. Fetishist zealots have risen up in Makua. Honestly, go off. Go off, King. I'd rather I'd rather Makua be fetishist than uh than Sunni. Sounds good to me. Also. Ooh, we should start annexing Ashanti. Hundred percent. Dagbon Jinne Yao. When does Al were truce? Five years. Till we can go to war with Molly again. Man, Molly got wrecked. Look how many truces they have. They got backstabbed by everybody. Looks like there's a little bit of free land in Kano. Stop those rebels. Okay, we got our entire army on, on Madagascar. Or this army, at least. We'll send this one back up. I don't think we need it. Sorry, Azeron, you're not getting off that easy. Okay, we forced their navy off of uh, Minabe. And it looks like we're thoroughly crushing them. 
We have better tech. We have more ships. We lost nothing. They lost a ton. Awesome. Now let's uh, go out and see what there is to see on this island. Lost our military advisor. It's fine. Get reinforced speed. Do not want to explore. No, that's not what we're doing right now. Let's kill their army. Yep, they're just lower tech. Let's go over to Betzalio. Also gonna try to get military access. Here, we'll do that. Stop fabricating a claim. Two, two, four. Nah, he's gonna have to do, I think. I mean, we could do better. We could do better. We could do better. Get rid of that. We don't need prestige. We get a billion prestige from conversions. Peace offer from Ajaran. I mean, if, you, if you're not going to give me full conquest, I ain't peacing out. Sorry. I can't get military access from Yemen, though. They don't like us. Just don't like us. Ethiopia may be a useful ally up here. We could ally them very, very easily. And they could help us fight Yemen. Ooh. France and Austria don't have heirs. <laughs> France, I maybe I could have I could have married them before I rivaled them, but Austria. Austria, we're just too far away. Too far away. We're getting closer to them liking us enough to maybe ally us. Let's keep improving relations. Sakalava, let's stop doing this. Still can't pay back any loans. Makua is fully occupied by their fetishist zealots. Good, good. Get converted. No, Azeron, no. Lost a military leader. Come on, Betzalio. Finish the siege. There we go. Let's go check up here. This isn't done yet. Heretics of Kelamane are dead. I mean, converted, converted, that's what I said. Not dead, we do not kill heretics. Evens. Janfar Yomba and the Nyasa people. Kelamane gets influential power holder. Or we get a, ooh, a yes, half off tier three. Diplo rep, dude, yes. We need the points. We are hungry for points. Also, someone told me to do all the clergy things that give you points. Uh, maybe I should have at the beginning of the game. I probably definitely should have. But at this point, I don't want to be giving up the land. Oh, don't sell the titles. Oh. oh, that's how we got our... We sold titles off to get our institution. That's what it was. Hey, free administrative power. We'll take it. You want to peace out yet? Getting close. Not close at all. Okay. Fine. This war in Madagascar is going to be long just because we have to bust all this fog of war. Let's go over here. Try to find their navy. So let's let's auto bring these guys over. I just want to speed this war up. Scottish separatists. 
already have 68% war score against Sakalava. I wonder. What, what, what could we take? Doing something like this would um be really bad for them. <laughs> cutting a cutting a country in half is usually very bad for the AI. Maybe we just take the whole north side of the island. Ibuina. The Slova. And a Tozy. Something like that looks good. It's not it's not pretty. It's a lot of aggressive expansion, but it's only a lot of aggressive expansion with these two guys. It's a lot to core, though. Woo, that coring cost. Caught him in Betzaleo. Looks like they've gotten a bunch of troops from somewhere. Man, this Ajran war is going to take forever. Yeah, I got 20 more reasons to work through. Man, we really can't... Our supply ships really can't reach the other side of Madagascar. That's interesting. Definitely would have thought we'd be able to. We can reach here, though. We'd also like to take money from Sakalava. I bet they're sitting on a lot. Ooh. Man, I love assimilation of natives. That event, we're getting it so often. It speeds up our colony so much. Ooh, and Wida makes ivory now. Awesome. Okay, I see we're running up to the end of our time here for this episode, but I want to finish this war. Ooh, look at that. Maybe we take a little less land and we take more money. Nah, we'll just go for the land. Make the next make the next war as easy as possible. It's a pretty ugly peace deal, but should be fine. Like I said, nothing too scary about the aggressive expansion here. Sakalava and Mahafli are eating the brunt of it. And they barely exist now. <laughs> This is my evil imperialist Congo. Eighty-eight percent of overextension. We got access to the Madagascar company, which is cool. And we're gonna have to leave like seventeen k troops here. I feel like that's probably a good number because uh, these rebels are gonna be feisty, to say the least. Wrong culture, wrong religion. It's going to be like that for a while. We'll probably just fight them, too. Oh, 20k, though. Maybe we should raise autonomy. Mm, I don't know. We'll raise up some troops here to help out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. You got two, Cav? Yeah. Three. There we go. We'll raise up some troops. We'll add them to Madagascar. Now that our Navy is done, we're going to put the Explorer back here. It's in the Explorer. Go exploring the Western Indian Ocean. We're going to take our trade ships back. We're going to protect trade in the Ivory Coast. And we're going to call it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We have a new episode coming out every other day. Make sure to check back then. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.